Um, hey guys, <clears throat> how are you? Hope you're fine. My name is Mr. Kaidahawk, and today I am playing a new episode of Alan Wake. I apologize for my voice and that really awful sounding um, what is that? intro, but I'm sick again. And uh, in the last episode, I was surrounded by a bunch of guys by the time I got my dear shotgun here. Um, and I decided to end the episode there because my computer was overheating a lot. And it was overheating a lot this morning too when I was trying to beat them again. But now I finally did it. And I'm finally, finally moving on in the game. Hopefully I can reach a safe point before anything else happens. What is that on the ground? Is that a manuscript page? I haven't found one, one of those in years. It is. All right. Let's see what you have for us. I apologize if by the time you're seeing this, this is like awfully... Um, like the sound sounds awful. Sarah distrusts nothing. Yo, who's Sarah? Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale the was sheriff? an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Okay. So, like I also said in the last episode, I have no idea why Nithingale is... <gasps> yes, safe point. Please. 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 Let me touch the light. Oh my god. God exists. <laughs> so... I have no idea why anything is after me. All I know is that he is after me and that he is really aggressive because he shoot us. Uh, he shot us while we were inside the radio station and while we were with a civilian. So that's a big no-no for cops. I'm just gonna follow these. That's a train track. I saw one in the trailer of this game. Hello? Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> this is suddenly a FNAF. Hello? The most stubborn man yeah. I've ever met. That me. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. Keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Cool. Alice, I'm here. Am I really? The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Alright, um, I think there's something written on that rock, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna pick up another monster page. And see what this one has to say. Wake attacked by... Are you kidding me? The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me Great. again. Great. We're going to be attacked by objects now. Uh, what way should I go? I think that's where I need to go. And this is close question mark? What is here? Just like a, like a seeker or something should be here. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. All right, but why, why did you bring me here? Is there something up here maybe? Oh, careful with that, Alan. Yep, just face through it. Oh, I see something. Is that the house? No, it can't be the same house. Alan, come on. Have more stamina than me, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, please don't attack me again. I just need ammo, and I'll be a-okay. I'll be on my way. Okay, I have 
limit on that, but I don't have limit on my shotgun ammo. Ammo. And do you have any batteries? No, you don't. All right. So wait, is that a? Yeah. There we go. Almost didn't see you there. I need flare guns. Batteries. Three flares. Thank you. All right. So I'm good with that. I'm gonna keep going on my way. And uh, ooh. wait. Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? All right. So these guys, those guys are done. <clears throat> Now I should go to the train tracks, hopefully. Nothing will attack me on my way there. And just making my way through the forest once again. This game only takes place in a forest. In the middle of the dark. Always in the dark. I can yeah, see no. a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. Thank you. I hope I was that close to the checkpoint, really? Jesus Christ. Alright. Wait, wait. Fall. Uh, never mind. I need to catch my breath. Follow. Oh, thank you, game, for your pro tips. Let's climb. <clears throat> I don't know I, how long. Well, I do know how long the game is, but I don't know how far we are from it. Um, if I remember correctly, we are on episode three. And there's six. So, um, I made this intro twice, but what I s like two or three times because you know my computer overheated and all that. Um, but if I remember correctly, no, what, what am I even saying? Uh, in the first intro, I said that I'm going to try and make this episode longer, that meaning being more than half an hour. Because, oh, is that the pipe? No, wait, what? Huh? Hmm? Uh, okay. So, can I climb, climb that or it's just... Alright, thank you. So, there's another... Oh! The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over everything in its path. Thank you. I almost didn't notice as I was falling. I was just talking about this path and I was like, oh, should I go that way? Apparently I had to. So... I think we should go this way now. Nope, never mind. What the hell? Yeah, that's my exact question. I don't like this. Okay. Oh, is this where the... Wait, what? I don't know what's going on, but... What the heck? What in the world? Can I just run, Alan? What? Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Um... Can I just... What is... Uh, oh, shoot. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, so I know what I have to do now, and I just gotta not die, and also, um, exercise the darkness out of this, go away, email. If I can just not die, that would be great. Oh, I can't run anywhere. Alright, I think I did it. Looks like I did it. All right, perfect. So, should I go this way? I mean, there's really nowhere else for me to go. I mean, well, yeah, it is. Okay, great. Can you give me a checkpoint? Uh, I would really appreciate a checkpoint right now. Oh no, I was like, what is that? Some guys attacking me? But no, it's the possessed furniture. Alan Wake's worst nightmare. Take that. I see you, Barrel. I see you. Oh, dang it. I'm not gonna die now. We have to defend the bridge. Okay, I'm just gonna take one moment. 
I'm just gonna take it easy, restore my health. There we go. Check. Oh, there. Ah, you see, you see. Oh, this game, this game has it. This game has it. It's really tricky. Very, very tricky. So, what are you and why are you here? Feels like I can do something with you. Maybe I can shoot you. Nope, you're just gonna roll down the hill. All right. Well, if I needed you to face some enemies, there you go. Um. Oh, I see you. Manuscript page. It, it's like the game suddenly realized that I hadn't picked up um, manuscript pages in a while. And they're just like, hey, here you go. Here's some story, by the way. So, wake in the dark presence in the lodge. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Oh, what was that? Okay. So I'm gonna go up. I, I still have a strong belief in the theory. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Oh, okay. So now I have a heavy duty flashlight. Picked up heavy. Okay, um, I like it better, I guess. So I see you here. Batteries or I don't really have one. I'm just gonna charge. How many? How many weapons do I have? I spent all my flare guns in the bridge, so that's bad. Uh, okay, I only have. Ooh, I better make every bullet count. So what now? I mean, I'm going to get attacked by inanimate objects. That's for sure. Um, I guess. Oh, right. You wanted to find a car. Well, I found a car. It doesn't work, though. Hi, I see you. Okay, I'm just gonna go grab you real quick. See if there's any other secret. And then I'll go into that thing over there that looks like it's the place where we go. Oh, I heard that. Who is here with me? Who's here? No one? Alright, I guess. I'm just gonna check. It looks like there should be something hidden in here other than the thermos. Or no, okay, it's just a way around it. Perfect, thank you. Um, so I have to open the... I'm gonna open this first. Revolver ammo, shotgun, and batteries. Perfect. Okay, I don't... Oh, I see a flare gun. Those are really useful. Uh, just one. Yep. Yeah. Just one. Don't, don't be so... So... It's not peaky. What's the word? It's like Mr. Krabs. Don't be like Mr. Krabs game. You gotta give me more stuff. Use. Good to know that technology still works. Jesus Christ. Perfect. Um, can you open up any quicker? Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it. I'm just gonna use it. Okay, I took care of them once again, barely made it. Um, I just want to reach a checkpoint, please. Thank you, okay, we're good. Good to go. Um, whoa, whoa, what, hi. Hi, whoa, hi. How's everyone doing? I'm not doing great in health. I am sucking right now. 
Okay. I don't know how I did it, but I did it in the first try. Hey. Okay. So now that the surprise party is over, can I have some? Can I have some batteries? Can I have some flare guns? Please. No, none of that. Okay. Uh, it's over here. Nothing. What about here? Please do not attack me again. I say as I get attacked. Oh, wait, what? In light, you can hurt them. No shit. Seriously, game, your tips are not that useful, you know? Those are things I already know. The point of a tip is that you tell me things that I don't know. Oh, thank you, another checkpoint. Perfect, awesome. Let's watch some TV, shall we? Shall we? There we go. We take the facts of our existence for granted unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often the stars are right in night springs. Okay. Is that it? my novella for a while so um well I'm glad you change your minds about this ancient customs local mythology I was gonna say if you see the image but don't hear any sound that's also me well Mr. Durlith we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition but you have demonstrated sure have. the seriousness of your intent Serious, really, just do your thing. Oh, and yeah, right. Your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are in short. It would provide you with a more intimate perspective. Did I really? What in the world is going on? Well, I guess that's the least I. Okay. What would I have to do? Okay, so based on the images that I was seeing, something possessed his body. And we shall hear that in a little. Yeah. Oh, so wait. Is that Barbara? I think her name is. Oh, Mr. Durlith, you have well pleased Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. Your body shall host his thousand young, Ooh. and all shall be glory. No! Shh, darling, be calm. Shh. All right, crew story thank you so much for that um that's not where i came from right no i came from there uh where did my mouse go um <clears throat> excuse you game alan all right so uh i need to go this way let's see what horrors away for me or what inanimate objects are possessed that are waiting for me Cause that's great. Uh, go away, email. Okay. Pick up. Where the heck is the? Oh, there you are. So what are you? Wake attacked by the dark presence. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it, just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. 
Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Okay, I totally forgot that we were chasing this guy. <laughs> I mean, where we we were chasing him, then we got to the radio station, and then we were running from the police. Oh, what? Okay, checkpoint reach. Thank you for that. I didn't notice it. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, we were we were chasing this guy. And now we have to find the vehicle, and I see it. I see it, guys. We're making it. I also see a box that I should open. Oh, hi. Hi there. Just give me one second. What do you have for me, huh? Batteries. Flares. Yes. Revolver ammo. Okay. Um, if what I'm reading in manuscripts is correct, then I will have to fight a dark tornado. That's awesome. Really? Oh! Oh, hi. No, 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 no. Okay. I need to open that box over there, so please do not. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Dang it. Alan. Run. Just do another one and, 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 and kill people. The heck? Dang it. Oh no 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 run 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 How in the world Okay Guess I I need to one possess you first And run and run and run and dodge and dodge Okay, I totally did this the wrong way, like the backwards way. Um, because you definitely had to unpossess the truck. But I'm just gonna pick up whatever it's here. But I think you had to do that first and then take care of the guys. But what I did was take care of the guys first and then I unpossessed or exercised the truck because it was easier that way and the only thing you have to do was just point at him with your flashlight and now that it's longer it's easier to exercise things so there's that uh i'm just going to load my gun because i really need it and i'm going to get into my my pimp my ride pick up oh yes thank you okay um these doors open really Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Hello. Before ending the episode, I'll check how many of you guys I have. I think last time I checked, I had 20 or close. Oh, hi. There's a light. Can you be my checkpoint or my safe heaven? Yes. Thank you. Highly appreciate it. Um, so, hi. I guess I'm going to drive you. Yes. Oh, cinematic time! Is this the end of chapter three? Please tell me it's the end of chapter three. I have never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get that to the coal sense. mine. Why do I have to get to the mine? I have no idea. It's sunny. It's daytime. Fine. The coal mine wasn't far. But why do they have to go there, though? Like, I remember, like, the last thing we did was, we were with Barry, we went to meet Rose, she was gone, and then checkpoint reached. Um. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. So, I'm just going to get into my car again. So, did we, like, agree with the kidnapper that we were going to meet here? Because I don't remember. Not at all. Ooh. Bye. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript oh, now you was coming it. true. 
The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Yeah, um... Wait. Um, so I need to get out of the car for this, I guess. So, okay, Barry is apparently in jail. I don't know why. I mean, maybe the FBI agents caught him because he was dropped in Ro Rose's trailer. But, um, still. Like, what? So, poor Rose. She was such an innocent girl and she got possessed by Barbara. Once again, if you're confused by this game, that makes two of us. Because, um, Barry just let everything go about Barbara. My camera is really low. Hi. So, to refresh y'all's memories, um, I think Barbara was living in the island that, that Alice and I were living at. And her husband drowned and she became a widow. Uh, and apparently her husband was a writer and she was his editor. But you can't find any of his, like, um, things, books online or anything. It's like the guy never tested. So I'm going to go up that way. I'm just going to check if there's anything here for me. So I don't have a gun. I don't have a flashlight because it's bright daylight. That's good. Um... Should I go? Wait, what way should I go? Should I go up or? It, 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 it looks like I should go up, but this is going, unless it's going around this big thing over here. Yeah, it is. I think it is, at least. Was this a waste of my time? I think it was. Um, okay. Where am I going? Go to the coal mine. Easier said than done. Can I have like a like a high point of view or something? I need to know where I'm going. Uh, hi. Yeah, so maybe I lost like a seeker or something up there. But, um, here we are, I guess. Check my reach. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, radio. Perfect. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF-FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a... I encountered a big shot G-Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a... A well, lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, me let me just say... I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Okay, perfect. Um, good to know that you're alright, Paul. Um, should I drive you? Feels like it. Yeah. So I have no idea what was up in that ladder, but um, I need to find that out now. So I wish what we should uh, That's closed. So ooh, 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 going forward, I do not want to crash into the abyss. Thank you very much. So um. Yes, the kidnapper, meeting in the mines. I don't remember that, but I do remember that he wanted the manuscript pages. And when I told him that I didn't have any manuscript pages, he was like, Bullshit, you do have them. And I have a couple, but, um, like, I don't know, what's this, 
why he's uh, gonna do that. I mean, I guess he knows. If what I think it's true, and Alan from the future wrote all this or something, and he's trying to like prevent Alice from getting killed or having the same fate or something, then maybe this guy, this guy knows about it. I think so. There's this awesome, awesome um, TV show called Wayward Pines. It just reminded me of that. We, like with that. I almost said a spoiler right there. Ooh. Hey, slow down. Okay. It's a really cool story and you should definitely watch the show. I like more the first season than the second one. Feels like in the second season they were just like, yeah, let's just keep let's keep adding stuff to this story. And uh, I don't remember if I finished watching season two or if they even came up with, with that third season. I'm not completely sure. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna check what's up here. Because I didn't check what was up there the last time. Oh, this is like, do you copy? This is so do you copy. These games are connected. Is there anything here for me? Hello? Hello? Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, I'm you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish, even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one, she was. And she, I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. Oh, you can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Oh, that is so cute and sad, but adorable at the same time. Now, let me tell you why I think about this. I do believe that everyone has a soulmate out there. Uh, maybe not the people that they don't, that don't want to marry or people who are not attracted to other people. I don't know. But I do believe that we all have a soulmate. I believe in this Japanese myth uh, or story or fol folklore, whatever you want to call it. It's called the Red Thread of Destiny. And basically, I think I've talked about this before. Basically, um, there is a red thread that is connected to your um, little finger, pinky, since the minute you are born till the minute you die. And it connects you with the person that you are destined to be with, your soulmate. Um, it can, this thread can be as long as it has to be. It can be as short as it has to be. It can get tangled. Um, a lot of things can happen to the thread. However, it cannot break at all. Um, so you're always going to be connected to that person. And I do believe that. 
I wish I could see my thread and see who's my bay so I can end my um what's the word single suffering but I think I'll eventually find him because the thing about me is like if I'm going to a new place I'm like oh maybe I'll find my bay here if I go to I don't know meet with someone like oh maybe in the way I'm gonna meet my bay here something like that so I, recently I stopped oh. recently I stopped thinking that way can I nope okay so I stopped thinking that way but what I was gonna say about what Pat was saying you know like oh you only meet about what the doctor was saying sorry if you meet someone and then that someone like leaves then that's it then that's your encounter if they don't feel the same about you then that's it buddy my parents let me tell you how my parents met my parents met at the beach out of coincidence well coincidence because my mom's family was going to the beach and um apparently why was it that my dad went to the beach i don't remember why my dad went to the beach but he went to the beach with a cousin well cousin is last friends Unt until this day i still have no idea um what their relationship actually is i don't know if we're family i don't know if we're friends or mutt on the ferry hold on for mutt spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment his boss had made wake out to be something special but Maud hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long really? look at the wife though, and he liked what he saw. Maud had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. All right, so everyone is after me. Good to know that I climbed all this way for a goddamn manuscript page. Well, that's the completionist run, I guess. So yeah, um, for some reason, my dad also went to the beach and he went with this friend um, slash cousin and my mom was there and my mom actually had a crush on my dad's friend slash cousin and my dad had a crush on my mom so what happened was you know my dad was trying to impress my mom and all that and my mom didn't like my dad at all like she was tired of him she thought he was annoying but here's the thing my mom always told me tells me that you should play hard to get why because guys apparently like that and they like feeling that they're in control and if you don't pay attention to them and you suddenly do then that's like whoa like it's working and same goes with the girls if a guy is chasing after you you're gonna be like, maybe, maybe you like him, maybe you don't like it. Well, there was part of my card. But, uh, yeah, may maybe you're like, you like it or you hate it. Either way, if that guy stops doing it, you're gonna feel weird, like annoyed. Like, what? why is this guy not chasing after me like he used to? And, can I just check for you? Yes, no, maybe so. And that's what happened with my mom. Um, after that beach day, my dad kept, you know, like calling her, and you know how things were. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. Mm. It was a museum now. All right, checkpoint, please. So yeah, things back in the day. Thank you. My dad would call my mom to his to her house, and you know, sometimes they would hang out as a group. Cause my aunt, my dad's um, sister, she also had a crush on my dad's friend slash cousin. But that would mean they weren't cousins, cause that would be weird. I'm gonna leave it as my dad's friend, but they're as close as cousins. That sounds better. There's another manuscript page. Let's read that. Sarah in there. Oh, Sarah, Sarah. Who's that? Deshervia. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. Oh, yeah, you definitely. You take my word for it. He wants um, to wait for a reason. 
and it's not so, for anything good. So, yeah, my, both my mom and, oh, what is this? <clears throat> in 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake. Wait, what? A volcanic ero- eruption below Cauldron Lake. While relatively, relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical remarks. That's it. <clears throat> yeah, so both my mom and my aunt... Had a crush on my dad's friend, and my dad was like, "Great!" So he was trying to, you know, win over my mom's heart, and she thought he was super cinematic time. She thought he was super annoying. Oh, we're having a. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking having, for like, me. We're having like this more dramatic moment. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. So my dad stopped following up. or chasing after my mom. Can you give me? Thank you. Checkpoint. No. Wake. Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Yep, that Don't makes sense. waiting, wait. So, yeah. Hello? Hello? Ah! It's close. I'm gonna kill him. Heck, I came through this door, people. I had to get to Mirror Peak. What? Hello, excuse you. And how the heck am I supposed to? Okay, whatever. So yeah, until my dad finally. It's not that it he gave close. up. Maybe closer than but ever before. But he just before. stopped chasing my mom. He stopped, like, asking her out and all that. And then my mom was like, what the heck? Like, why isn't he, you know, like, calling me? Why isn't he showing up? Why isn't he asking me on a date? And so she got really curious and, dang it. So, <clears throat> so my dad, my dad stopped chasing after my mom. And before you know it, my game is lagging. I froze okay and before you know it alan thank you is that is there is no how do i get out of here before you know it my mom fell for my dad because he stopped being interested in her and she was like what the heck no and that's what happened after some years they moved in together and uh, they got married and they had me Ta -ta. That's pretty much it. So this is the only way for me to get out. But how? Do I have to shoot it? I don't think so. Hmm? Huh? No. No way, email. How do I need to jump from a window or something? Well, there's this thing. Wait. Um if I can jump or drop or something I mean there's that but I don't think I can get out that way So I'm just Going to drop, I guess. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was the way out. Perfect. And I'm just going to get out of the way before that thing collapses and falls over me. So, okay, I'm here. I need to find another way out. I need to find a kidnapper. Oh, hi, I see you. Um, there's nothing over there. Oh, I thought I saw something moving above me. All right. I'm telling you, this game. So, okay, what happened? What happened during the, the daytime? Um, we we found out what happened to Barry and oh hi and what else oh I see you there Thermos so we discovered oh yeah I'm gonna check let's check real quick uh, statistics uh, close with a roller da -da 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 -da. coffee Thermos is found 32 wow out of a hundred I am sure I've missed a couple. Maybe there was one in there. Oh yeah, I can pick them up. I have enough. Money. Um, in the other side of the mountain, like up the stairs and all that. So, what do you do? Ooh, perfect. All right. And yeah, so we found out what happened to. Barry and uh, we got here and then we heard what happened to Pat poor Pat oh I see a manuscript page and then we're back here checkpoint reached ooh my ankles alright um I'm going to <coughs> what Pardon me. Getting sick is not my favorite thing to do. Or to be. Uh, Thomas Sane in love with Barbara Jagger. I know Barbara is the widow, but I'm thinking, have I heard the name Thomas Sane before? No. Even the, the people in, in the TV show, they weren't called this way. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his <coughs> muse. <coughs> so like I said, reach the mirror, peak who can. Um, like I said, Barbara was married to a writer, and now we know that his name is Thomas Sane. And he drowned in the- oh, revolver, hi. We know that he died- oh, oh no. Why are you giving me so much ammo? Why are you- I hate this. Whenever you pack me up a game, it's because something bad's about to happen. Oh no. Oh no. H to the E to the double L no. Oh dang it. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, I did the thing. Give me a checkpoint, cause I'm dying. And I don't want to fight these guys again. I used all my flare guns. Oh, I should probably get more ammunition. Because I don't know how long it's going to be until they charge me up again. And I don't want to be embusted. Emb I don't think that's the proper word. But okay. Okay. I need more flare guns. That's for sure. They really help me out when I get insert proper word here. What is you? Hi. Pick up. Oh, flashbang. Yes. These are my favorites. All right. Uh, oh, so you're just that. Okay. What's here? This is so bad. Like, why am I. 
taken this path in the first place. Like, yeah, I know I, I was trapped and locked, but still, who would? Oh, hi. I was I was just about to turn around and see if I had been locked, but I don't need to do that apparently because it did happen. Oh, hi. You were fast, and you're dead. Okay. Yeah, it looked like a trap the second I walked into it. So I was suspecting this. Ha ha! In y'all faces. Just gonna load. And, uh. Oh, did I see another one? Nope, okay. What is that? Is that a thermos? No, wait. What is that? Oh no, that, that that's just the design of the train. All right. Um. Oh, ladder, ladder. I see ladder. Is there anything there? Ooh, ooh. Never mind. Climb, climb that buster up. I don't know what's down there, but I ain't getting attacked. Whoa. What is that? What is going on? There's not like a haunted, possessed train, right? Alright. Well, don't mind me, I'm just... Oh, I was gonna say, I'm just gonna climb on top of this thing. But no. Oh, I do not like this. Alan, why? Oh, hello. So you're the one making all the fuss? I just gotta, gotta wait for you to chill and come this way again. I get to make an exercise in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Where are you? <clears throat> oh, whoa. Did that do the thing? I think it did. No, it did not. Oh, hi, you're also possessed. Hello. It's so stupid that things can also get possessed. Like, what the heck, Barbara? Really? Okay. So there shouldn't be any more possessions. And apparently they just vanish in thin air. Alright. Go away, email. Um so where am I? Give me a checkpoint, dang it. Nee. Nee. Okay, I was gonna say I'm out awake and I'm stuck here. Um Okay, I see a door. That's good. There's nothing there. All right. Can I just... Oh! Focus! Where? Trace can also get possessed now? Hi! Hello! How are you? I'm Alan Wake. Nice to meet you. Um, Did you know that you appear in one of the manuscript pages of my book? You're gonna be famous, dude. You're gonna be real famous. Hmm. <clears throat> well, that's a thing. Um, can I drive my way out of here? Alright. So, that's where I need to go. Is there something here? Feels like... Nope, There's. that's not an entrance. I could walk around, I guess? Uh, no. I won't be able to walk through that. Um... Okay, I can't go up, so the only way to go is down. Hi, are you possessed? No, that's just electrical things. All right, and prepare your ankles, Alan. Okay, we're done. Um, yeah, I saw that. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. Yeah, that's way to probably the best idea. What about a car? Can you use a car to knock that thing down? Uh, oh, I can! Checkpoint reads. Alright, so I'm gonna leave this episode here. I think it's pretty long as it is. My computer today is behaving perfectly. And um, in the next episode, I'm going to discover how I can get into a building. Probably I will have to drive that way, but we shall see. 
so that's a wrap everybody thank you so much for watching this video and uh, i hope i get to see you guys soon bye